Justin, it's a delight to have you with us today. And here where I serve in Altoona, Pennsylvania, we have the privilege of having with us a Pakistani pastor, his wife and family, who they are here right now simply because of the fact that they were persecuted for their faith in Pakistan. And yet uh, he has the desire to go back in order to minister to them. He wants to preach the gospel to them. He has the desire to see them come to Christ. And certainly he has shared with me that there has been quite a bit of persecution over in Pakistan, and it seems to be growing in certain elements of the nation. In fact, he's been with us here on Stand in the Gap in the past. So this is particularly of great interest to me. And therefore, just share with our people exactly what is going on as it relates to persecution in Pakistan, if you would, please. Sure. Well, in light of the COVID crisis, of course, countries all over the world have instituted lockdown measures. But in Pakistan, people are more afraid of dying of starvation than they are of getting COVID. We have videos from our partner, Pakistan Partnership Initiative, which in itself is actually a network of churches and ministries throughout Pakistan. They are one of the most trustworthy uh, Christian aid organizations inside of Pakistan. They are uh, a part of the Pakistani Council of Christian Churches. And they're distributing aid. And what, what we, the report that we got from them was heartbreaking. So the first is that Christians, in, both in love for their neighbor and in genuine fear for their own uh, provision, have begun to intentionally reduce their meals down to just one meal a day so that they can stretch out their food, not just for themselves, but many Pakistani Christians have taken amongst themselves to provide a meal to a neighbor and to use that opportunity to spread the gospel and to, to be a Christian witness to their, their neighbors and their communities. And there is a lot of open hostility against Christians inside of Pakistan. And so to see their, their boldness and their willingness to use this time and this crisis as a, as a touch point and as an opportunity for witnessing is absolutely inspiring. The second report that we've had that's, that's really troubling is that when many people have given to international aid organizations and those international aid organizations like the UN or others, they, you know, they send aid to a country like Pakistan, and then it's the government that's left to distribute those materials. Well, in some provinces in Pakistan, we're actually hearing reports where Christians are being forced to pray the Shahada, the, the Islamic conversion prayer, publicly before they receive any food packages. And time and time again, we're getting reports of Christians who are saying no to the food. I will not abandon Jesus for, for rice. I will not abandon Jesus for, for cornmeal. I will rather starve than lose my faith in Jesus Christ. And that's the reality on the ground right now in Pakistan. And so our partners, the Pakistan Partnership Initiative, amongst themselves, they didn't, they're not receiving support from any U.S. organization or, or uh, government entity. Uh, they notified us, actually, of their, their plan and what they are doing to, amongst the churches in Pakistan, raise support and create food packages to support these Christian communities and other parts of the country that are at risk of forced starvation by conversion. And it's, it touched us so deeply that we said, you know, we need to get behind that. We need to help raise support. And so we've created the COVID19.VaminaCollective.org page, and that's where we are helping to raise support to provide to partners in Pakistan and a number of other countries throughout the region who are on the front line helping to, to resource Christians in this time. Because honestly, while we are experiencing difficulties here, the financial hardship, uh, most of us, you know, we may not be able to find toilet paper when we want, but we can certainly find something to eat in, in Pakistan and in Lebanon and in other countries throughout the Middle East. That is the reality that Christians are facing, is not just the ability to afford the food, but even getting access to it because of government restrictions in these Islamic countries. And so um, that's, that's our response, and that's, that's the situation that we're seeing on the ground. But amazing that the church in Pakistan themselves decided to, to mobilize themselves to support their fellow believers in country. What an amazing encouragement that is to see the, the maturity of the church in Pakistan and it's something that I think we just need to get behind and support. 